Now, forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D. Well, Brian's back checking the forecast, and uh, I believe it was just one word that seems to be popping up in this forecast. Windy. Windy. Yes. I'm going to tell you this roller coaster forecast we've had really isn't making any of the problems going on. Respiratory illnesses or oh, anything yeah. feel any right. better. <laughs> I'm in that club right now, <laughs> but we will start to see things level out as we head into early next week. Until then, the winds are back overnight tonight and through most of our Saturday. Because of that, the National Weather Service has issued another wind advisory. This one goes from one o'clock tomorrow morning until one o'clock Saturday afternoon as wind gusts could eclipse 45 to 50 miles an hour as we head throughout the first part of our Saturday. Exact track 40 radar splash and dash showers on the radar for a good chunk of southeastern Michigan this evening. So grab that umbrella as you're heading outside. We're going to keep the rain showers and the gusty winds around as we go through the evening and overnight hours tonight. Sitting at 45 right now here in Detroit, 46 over in Howell, 45 right now over in Pontiac and 48 in Adrian. Sustained winds and anywhere from 10 to upwards of 20 miles an hour for just about everyone. And those numbers will go up as we go through tonight and into early tomorrow morning. It's thanks to a strong area of low pressure right around Minneapolis with a cold front back into the Midwestern United States. As this frontal boundary pulls off to the east, that's what's going to drive our wind gusts up overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. By 11 o'clock tonight, wind gusts of 30 to 35 miles an hour will be possible for just about everyone and going as high as 40 to possibly 45 miles an hour by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I think the peak window for the strongest wind gusts is between 5 a.m. and 10 a.m. tomorrow morning as that cold front presses on through the region. By the time we get to 6 o'clock on Saturday night, still breezy wind gusts of 20 to 25 miles an hour and even on Sunday I'm going to keep the breezy winds under the forecast throughout the day with winds gusting 25 to possibly 30 miles an hour by the time we get to Sunday afternoon. Those rain showers move through as we go from tonight and into tomorrow as well. Still dealing with splash and dash rain showers by 11 o'clock tonight. It's not a complete washout rain showers to start our Saturday morning through about 7 to 8 o'clock tomorrow morning as that frontal boundary pulls through. Then we dry things out and keep plenty of cloud cover in as we go throughout the rest of the day. But once that front rolls through, temperatures crash throughout our Saturday. By midnight tonight, temperatures will be rising overnight tonight into the low 50s. So wind chills will be into the 40s and 50s as well. With that cold front pressing on through after 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, watch these numbers. They fall very quickly by 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's going to feel like it's in the teens and 20s for everybody. And that's where those numbers, our wind chills are going to stay as we go from the rest of Saturday and into late Saturday night as well. Overnight tonight, we're under the 40s now. A few scattered rain showers, windy conditions for everybody, and temperatures rising overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. We'll hit an early high into the low 50s around 2 to 3 o'clock tomorrow morning, and temperatures tumble throughout the entire day. We'll be into the 30s by the time we get to lunchtime and heading into Saturday afternoon. Drier weather with some sunshine moves in as we head into Sunday before more rain moves in on Monday, and then another chance of rain moves into the forecast by the time we we get to the middle of next week. It is December, isn't it? It is for <laughs> sure, but at least there's no snow in the forecast. Yeah, okay. yet. We'll take that. Fine. Yeah. All right, Bernie's next with uh, more from Indianapolis and the Big Ten Championship. Stay with us.